Hello everyone, this is Ali from Myros Communication. In this video, I'm going to talk about some solution of black skin problem of notebook. Could be Asus, could be Acer, could be HP, could be Lenovo, whatever the model is. PC skin become black and you can't open more and it's not working. Before taking to the service center, you can do some procedures one by one. Follow me in this video if you want to do. As you see in front of me, I have one asus laptop it has 17 inch display it's asus k35e as you see the model number i show you fine okay for example i'm gonna hit the power button for make this on as you see the lights are on of the charging light the power light is on even the lights of the keyboard are blinking i will click caps lock as you see here so this is working fine but i don't have any display i can't even hear any noise of windows or anything else in this case first procedures or method you can apply you can do something as this turn this off hold for a few seconds fine take the power cord off close this one flip this one This side slide as this and take the battery out put the battery one side now flip back the notebook open okay now before putting the power cord back hold the power button for 30 seconds for removing all the static charge you are lucky in some cases it would be work for you could hold 30 seconds to one minute now here put the power cord on Come to the notebook, hit the power button for make this on. Let's see is working or not. We have all the lights on, but the notebook is not working. The second procedures we can do. We can hold the power button for make this off altogether. We're gonna use a VGA cable. This VGA cable of this monitor, as you see in front of me, this Samsung I have at the back, and I take out from my desktop PC. And this VGA port, I will put at this notebook. All of the notebook comes with VGA port. You have to put. This is the female port of this VGA cable, and this is male side. You have to connect this one. This is fine as you see. Now hit the power button and let's see. If you see the external monitor is working, that means you have problem with your display. Either the inverter or the whole display is gone. In that case, you can change the display or inverter and it will be fine. But if you see as this, you hear the noise, all is the same, nothing is working properly. You can do one thing. You have to go to the next step. The next step is this. Before going to the next step, you have to turn off the notebook. Take out all the cable from notebook. This VGF cable. The power cord. Everything. Close this. Flip one more time. And you have to set some icon. As you see. This is the icon of the hard drive and this is the icon of the RAM memory. Wherever you see this icon, especially, you have to open that box and you have to go underneath for the RAM. In this case, in this whole box is carrying hard drive and RAM memories. All you need 
a Phillips 4 headed screwdriver, a normal one, and you have to remove a screw. Okay, here we have one, two screw in this model. Okay, I will remove those. One is gone. Okay, this is gone too. Okay, now we have to remove this cover. Should come gently. You have to check different model. We will have different places for RAM. As you see, this is the hard drive. Don't do nothing here. Here is the RAM. Depend. Some notebook carry two RAMs. Some notebook carry one RAM. Depend. And netbooks are carrying only one RAM. Pull back two side. The RAM should come out as this. You have to take this RAM out. Take the another one out. In this case, I have two RAM. Okay, you have to clean this edge a bit with little paper or alcohol, whatever you have. Clean this after that. Put only one RAM. Flip the notebook as this. Don't close nothing. Open one more time. Connect the power cord. And now let's see what happened. And I will hit the power button. It's still no result. Nothing is coming out. Okay. You can hold the power button one more time. Remove the power cord. Close the notebook. Flip. Take the RAM out. Now put back another RAM as you see the another one. I have two RAM. So now the second one I'm gonna try. Put this inside. Now I'm gonna flip this one. I'm gonna put the power cord. And I will hit the power button and no result at all. That means I have serious problem. Okay. Now few more extra method we can apply in this. For example, here is the FN button. I will close this notebook. It's done. I have to hold the FN and escape button together. And at the same time holding, I will hit the power key and I will hold this few seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds as this. And I will remove. While you are holding this, you will feel some heat should come out from your fan. Leave as this for at least 6 or 7 minutes or 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna close this notebook, holding the power button for a long time. Now it's closed. I will hit power button for one more time for open. Let's see is opening or not. You could try with Windows and B key as you see here we have Windows and B at the same time holding Windows and B together and holding the power button. It could helpful for you in some cases that works too. And if it's not working, nothing or by all this process, none of them is working for you. Then you have only one way. Contact with local expert or contact with the service center because you have serious issue. Maybe at the motherboard or at the video card. If you like this video, please do subscribe. If you have any question, leave me as a comment. I will try to answer you as much fast as possible. As always, for more information, go to the IRS communication, www.irscommunication.com. Have a nice evening. Ciao.